the body position is really flat and uh, what we're trying to do is eliminate almost any degree of lateral movement and very little in horizontal movement so that means that the breathing is done in a very low and uh, the recovery of the arms is very low. This involves head position, hip position and chest position. What we strive for is to breathe with her chin on the water, on the surface of the water, and the kick is a constant undulating kick which emanates from the rib cage and flows through down through the legs and through to the feet. It's very similar to, if you imagine a fish, the cartilages of the fish, they are very strong from the rear of the gills right through to the tail and we've tried to emulate this with very little up and down uh, movement, especially in the recovery and uh, you'll notice a slight space between her shoulders and the water surface of the water when she's doing drills as in uh, opposition to when she's going at world record pace where there's no gap between the water and the shoulders and she's reaching out long. The entry is done with the uh, thumbs slightly lower than the little finger and when she reaches out and when she enters the water the hand immediately then feels for the water and stretches further under the water in a slight outward motion before commencing the first movement into the keyhole phase. That catch phase of the hands is done very relaxing so that she goes in probably just level with the shoulders and then as she reaches out, the hands go in a little bit closer to the front before commencing the outward sweep into the keyhole position. We try to develop what we call flat butterfly, and that means that we're not lifting any excessive lift of the head or the shoulders in the, in the recovery phase. In other words, we're not, we don't want to expose any portion of the chest area to the water resistance. And so we're recovering low with a constant undulating kick, working on the basis that uh, fish don't have any arms or legs. And uh, we're trying to get all the power that we can through the core body. That means from the rib cage down through to the feet. We have done a lot of work on kick sets and underwater work. We swim much faster when we're underwater, so I try in, in during the course of a butterfly race, especially a 200 fly, that the, the kick is undulating all the time, emanating from the core body. 
and flows through to the legs, but we're trying to keep a constant move through the water emanating from the core body and very similar to that as the cartilages of the fish as they go and when we recover low that enables her through virtue of the fact that she's got core body strength to be able to breathe low without any loss of velocity. The moment you bend your knees or you have to bend your knees to make a emphasis on a kick down so that the fly has the feeling that they need that kick down not only to uh, keep going forward but also to lift themselves out of the water to breathe. <clears throat> we don't do that, we, we emphasise that she can maintain momentum by use of the strength between the waist and the knees. The exit of the hands and the push phase of the stroke by virtue of the fact that she's breathing low and, and uh, the keyhole, she's be able to go, get uh, a lot of strength into the recovery and, and we really concentrate then when you're pushing right back to let the water go at that precise moment and uh, the hands can swing around low over the water and into, as I said, with the thumb slightly lower than the little finger.